This is looking down onto John, and um, John's got um, uh, a number of metres of thin cord. We're going to see whether we can strap the extendable pole with the antennae dish on the top of it approximately six centimetres up above the corner of the lowest block because the extendable pole won't reach from the base of the big block that has the highest point on it. So we've amply between the two and this block is approximately six centimetres lower. So um, John's down here now and I think we're going to just place the cord up, uh, the pole up to see if this is actually feasible and obviously this is part of the reconnaissance and um, that looks as if the cord's gone around the block once you can see the um, extendable pole, it's uh, a red and white one just on the bottom left and uh, here's John hard at work has it just gone around once John? Twice, actually. Yeah, it may get around there twice. Here's Graham just appearing around the uh, the corner of the block. So again, on the um, on the day of the survey, we're doing all this uh, preliminary work. That when we come up from June the 22nd onwards and come up here, we'll know exactly what to do when we arrive on the day of the actual survey. Can you go above the other one, Graham? That'd be helpful. Yep. No so this is looking over the highest point of this block, which is the block nearest to Glitter Vower. And um, John's going between the two blocks now, and it's the other one closest to Ogwin that is the actual height of the part. But again, it's from the base to the summit, it's 4.1 odd meters, and it's just too high to get the extendable pole to the top of it. So uh, we've added between the two to ascertain the difference in height of the highest part of each block. And we'll pin the extendable pole to the edge of this one, raise it up by approximately six centimeters, so it's level with the very highest point of cover. I think we're going to leave it here for a while, just to make sure that it's stable and it doesn't slip. And that will be um, the reconnaissance over with. Well, it's getting pretty blustering now, so um, I dare say the audio will be hard to, uh, to pick up. So uh, I'll just close it off for a second, I think, unless uh, John and Graham are doing something of interest. They're both disappearing. And there's my foot hanging over the edge and this block is incredibly slippy on the on top and uh, there's quite a few people around at the moment and it's getting blustery and cold and I'm perched on top of the block <laughs> waiting for the extendable pole to uh, to come up so um, there's the highest point of Traban I'll leave you with that